Hello, everybody. Good afternoon and happy Saturday to you. I hope that this finds you doing well. This is Kim, your independent designer with Chalk Couture and Chalk is Chic. I am going to get this pulled up and shared really quick over on to our VIP. And guys, we are going to take this typewriter that we did yesterday and we're going to elevate it just a little bit. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of chalk in today, but I do want to show you how you can take this typewriter that we did yesterday and make it a little bit more customized, um, make it something that you love or change it up. So I am using our Aiden Frame board. Our Aiden Frame board does come with our independent designer kit and it also comes with the Kickstart kit if you are a Club Couture member that's new to Club Couture and signing up. And it is a porcelain coated steel magnetic board. One of the things I love about it is that it is a magnet. So you can totally make this very customizable um, for you. And that is what we're going to do today. So we do have this little piece of paper right here and the rest is a typewriter. But what you can do is take some scrapbook paper, um, and I have to take y'all what I have on hand because I'm not going to the store anytime soon. This has just a whole bunch of words on it. It's a big old piece of scrapbook paper, and then I thought that these were some beautiful color pieces of paper that we could use, and I really loved... This one was one of my favorites. It's kind of big and flowery, um, but you can really truly use anything. We may stick with this one since the paper is a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to show you really quick how you can do this. So you can do this one or two ways. Um, hey, Stacy. Hey, Maggie. You can take your... I had it just a second ago. There it is. You can take your placement tape or measuring tape and you can measure and cut your piece of paper if you want to. Like this one is one, two, three and a half by about one and a half. So you could totally measure and cut your piece of paper that way if you wanted to. Or we're going to scoot this up just a smidge. I'm going to use this one first as our example. You can take your transfer. Now, I am only going to work with the part that I need, right? I don't need the whole transfer. I just need the piece of paper. But I'm going to fuzz it, fuzz it, fuzz it, fuzz it. Anytime you're working with paper, you would have to fuzz the bejeebers out of it, guys. So you can fuzz it, fuzz it, fuzz it. You can put your transfer right here on your piece of paper. Hopefully, let me move that up a little bit more so y'all can see this. So you can put your transfer right here on your piece of paper. Push it down just a smidge. It doesn't really truly matter what color you pick because um, we're going to cut outside of the lines. So let's just take Couture Teal because I have it handy, of course. And we just want to chalk where that paper cutout is gonna be, right? I don't really care what else I'm chalking or not chalking because we're gonna cut this, okay? So we're gonna take it, peel it back. Remember though, guys, you have to, have to, have to fuzz, 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 fuzz. That is ultimately important if you are using scrapbook paper with your transfer. But you can totally take your transfer and make your own birthday card, whatever the whatever you wanna do. Um, and actually chalk on paper. So we're drying this super quick. And again, we don't really care about anything else. We're gonna cut it out because we're gonna make that fit onto our typewriter. So this board that I'm working with right now is an Aiden frame board. It is porcelain coated, still magnetic. So it handles magnets quite nicely. And so if you love this typewriter, which I adore, with or without paper. I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, you can take your paper that you just chalked on. We're cutting on the outside of the, or the inside of the line rather. So we're making this a custom fit for our little paper up there. So all I'm doing is cutting on the inside of that line and you can do this with anything. So if you wanted to keep your typewriter and make it customized for a holiday, for Easter, I wish I had like Easter paper, but I do not. And 
I don't know what craft stores open because I'm not going to any stores, but you can take your piece of paper, line it up there. So you still have your outline of your paper. We can take some just strips of magnet and we are going to just cut a strip. It's self-adhesive, so this is the kind that I use like if I'm doing my classes or anything like that. But this is totally going to elevate this design. So let's just say hypothetically before we put that magnet on, because I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself, um, let's say that you do want some words on there. You want it to say hi or you want it to say whatever you want it to say. So we can take our word hi before we get to chalking or putting magnet stuff on it. We can take our word hi. I fuzzed it on myself guys by the way. Let me put push this up, work with it this way just a smidge, um, but you can fuzz it on yourself or on your fuzzing towel. Mine's, mine are still drying. I washed them and didn't think about going live and I let them hang dry. I do not dry them in the dryer. So they're still drying. So I'm going to take black velvet and again we're working with a couple of different colors that we're not with your actual transfer if you're part of Club Couture, but I'm just showing you how you can elevate this to a whole different level. Thinking outside of the box and giving you something else that you can do. So you can totally take this, take scrapbook paper of your liking, your choice, and make this customized to what you want it to be. So let me get the lid on. We're gonna dry that word high. Shows up quite nicely against those flowers. And we're just going to dry this super quick. It would have been kind of hard to chalk this with the magnet on the back, which is why I paused. But guys, you can change out this to make, match your decor, match the season, whatever you want to do. It just shows you how quick and simple you can make something very, very custom. Like if you had this as a staple piece in your house and it was your husband's birthday, you could do happy birthday on it. We have tons of different letterings and just because you have, you know, making it up as you go or take note or high with your actual transfer that comes with the Club Couture does not mean that you can't mix and match with other transfers. So I'm just getting this adhesive tape stuff off the back. So there is our adhesive magnet. We're gonna put it on the piece of paper and then we are going to put it on our board. So it kind of makes it three dimensional almost, if you will, because you have that small little gap between the piece of paper and the board. But if I get bored with this and I want to change it out and I want to go to a black and white theme with all those crazy lettering, um, I can do that or change it out for the season. So this just shows you a different way to look at your Club Couture and a different way to look at your transfers. I just think it's super cool that we can customize these. We can make them what they want. If we get tired of that one, we just take it off and we can keep on rolling. But this is just a very, very quick tutorial, if you will, or example of things that you can do to think outside the box or think outside the typewriter and um, give it a different look because we can't give that look to it, you know, using just our transfers because this is definitely a very elaborate piece of scrapbook paper, but you can make it what you want it to be. So, I hope you enjoyed that little cute, fun tutorial. It is just different. It's totally different thinking outside the box. I think I'm going to keep my vintage typewriter on this board for quite some time because I am just madly in love with it. But I wanted to hop on and say hi, do a quick example for you of what you can do, and just give you some inspiration. That's what I'm here for, right? So I am going to go get ready for work so I can go and take care of some amazing kiddos tonight. But I hope that y'all are having a fantastic weekend. I do look forward to talking with you tomorrow. It will be a short and sweet and to the point chalk um, just because of work. And then we'll get back to really chalking next week. But I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow night. And thank you for watching. Have a good evening, everybody.